All right, welcome back to our free digital media VA training. Now we are gonna do an email in Kajabi, super easy. We're gonna to link to that contact form that I made to get people to sign up. So here I have made my client write the email. I'm going to copy it and I'm gonna pop over here into Kajabi, which serves as an email platform, as well as it hosts courses, digital courses for online entrepreneurs. So I'm coming here to marketing. I'm gonna come here to email campaigns. And what I suggest doing is keeping it simple. Most people are on their phone. Lots of pictures are bad, lots of links are bad. Usually the rule of thumb is one email, one job, one call to action. So let's just see what her last one looked like and see if I could copy it or if I need to come up with a whole new one. Let's preview it. I think her emails were pretty, yeah, not, okay. So we would like the email to start with text. I know the graphic looks great, but in an ideal world, I would like the text to come first. So it shows up better in a phone. So I'm not even gonna copy that. I'm just gonna come out back to email campaigns and I'm gonna click over here to new email. I'm gonna do a broadcast and I'm gonna call it um, 12, what's today? <laughs> 12, 12 news. Actually, I'm gonna do newsletter 12, 12 custom quote. And that way I know what it is inside. That is not the subject line. So I'm gonna get all of her people on her email list. You can segment it inside Kajabi easy, but I'm gonna I'm going to go ahead and do all. I'm gonna to go to save and continue. And the subject line is where we want to have fun, but let's paste this in here. And give me a minute. I'm going to pr proofread it. And first, yeah, I'm going to proofread it really quick. I'm going to write a cute subject line, and then we'll send it out. All right, so let's finish up. I went ahead and bolded a few sentences. So that it looks a little bit easier to read for those who are skimmers. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a photo. So in Kajabi, it's super easy. And make sure you name your photo. So some people set their, set their, sorry, I'm like looking for the graphic. Some people have their email set, their settings where they don't get pictures because they want their email to upload fast and not take up a lot of space. So you'll wanna make sure you have it named that way, at least the name will show up and not just some you know, weird weird writing or whatever the file name of the photo was. So there we go, we're gonna, we're gonna throw that in there. I think that looks great. Let me get rid of that funny little space right there. Okay, uh, and let's put this in the middle. And just keep in mind, most people are on their phones, so you don't need your emails to be complicated right now. So this is pretty good. Uh, what I do wanna do is make sure this image is clickable to that page where people can sign up. So I think I have it here, it's slash quote. Remember, we just made that landing page and we'll put that in there. And then all of these sentences, I have a couple different links here. All of these are link to, all of these are text links that go to the same page. And if you remember right, it's this page right here. Hey, and real quick, if we wanted to turn this logo white, it's a color replacement painted. tool. So it doesn't so do that's black looking or really white. good. But what, what I would do is just put white over have here, an in, here in my bucket and upgrade. use my bucket tool to fill in all of these spots like um, this. And then you're going to have to use the burn and dodge tool to switch it over. So whenever to all anyone white. ever clicks so to on a link in here, we're gonna add a tag. School, but I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the, ma the major spots. Lead white quote. And then what I can do here is use oh, the burn and dodge yeah, tool not, and I can just go over it and not advanced. Okay. fix it up. <clears throat> all right, so that looks good. I just need a subject line. So and I could even kind of smooth out some of those colors. See? Is that cool? Just a quick way to get the white logo. And then of course you could get the black one that way too. So um, so I would save it. Let's just see what it looks like. I mean, obviously it would take a little bit 
slower to do that, but we'll do um, white. And then if you wanted it to be black or white, what you do is you just use your brightness in contrast. You should be able to just kind of like change the color like that. See? See how it works? There you go. Voila. <clears throat> Am I still recording? All right, we have a subject line in there. She had actually given it to me. Everything looks good. <clears throat> We're going to save and continue. This is your chance to double check for misspellings. Since my client wrote it, I'm not gonna really worry about it. Okay. We're going to send it right now. Are you ready? Set, go. We could also schedule it. And there we go. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to have some more free trainings for you. Don't forget to grab my freebie, the top 10 most requested digital media tasks that I do for my clients. And I'll see you next time.